Exactly. Get two birds stoned at once. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Santa Todd here uh, doing a video. A pickups video, but not a video game pickup video. As you know, I got my laser disc machine a little bit ago, and I went kind of hog wild ordering laser discs. Uh, trying to get movies that are either like ones that I really love and want on the format just because of the novelty of it, and also movies that I don't have already. Um, and I picked up a few just because they were cheap. So. I'm going to try to show some of the stuff here uh, that I have picked up. Uh, you may think um, that I picked up quite a few the last time I was out, but this is stuff that's come, a couple packages and uh, a few pickups, and I went to another Half Price Books. I went to the one in Westport. Uh, they had only three uh, laser discs. well they had four. They had a Woody Allen movie that I decided I didn't want because I'd never heard of it and I didn't give a shit about Woody Allen anyway. But uh, the other three I went ahead and bought. One of them I just bought because I was pissed off and I was like, I can't believe this is all you got is what I was thinking in my head. So I went ahead and just bought it. Uh, and it had a cover on it, which I went ahead and put the cover on a different one, like a sleeve, like a plastic sleeve. Uh, and that movie is this broadcast news uh, with Albert Brooks and Holly Hunter. I don't know if I've seen this. You know, it says most entertaining movie of 1987. Two thumbs up from Siskel and Ebert. You know, high quality shit here. So, um, these were also, uh, I think at this store they were $3 instead of $2 as well. So, I think they were a dollar more and they only had four and I got three of them. Uh, these other two I had heard of, neither one of them did I have on a DVD. Uh, this one I have seen a couple of times, and that is this movie with Michael Douglas called Falling Down. Uh, he, he's kind of like this workaday guy that just kind of goes off the deep end uh, one day, and it's kind of his story uh, of what he does during the course of that day. And uh, it's in pretty good shape. It had a sleeve and everything. It looked pretty nice. Looked like at one point they were trying to get thirty-four ninety-eight uh, somewhere for it. Um, it was three dollars where I bought it. So um, the uh, final laser disc that I picked up, uh, I have seen this. I think I went to the theater and saw it back in the day. But I'm not a huge uh, fan of these types of movies necessarily. But it's from our fame, uh, our famous buddy uh, Charlie Sheen. Uh, the Tiger's Blood is flowing in this one. Uh, we got Hot Shots Part Do. Look at that cover art, folks. Can't beat that. And uh, the back. Um, a couple of guys left comments and said that they'd like to collect laser discs. They think it looks kind of neat and stuff. And I will say, the machine itself, I ordered one for 50 bucks. It was about $25 to ship it. But they're commercial grade machines. Most of them are high quality machines. And the DVD, the DVDs, laser discs, you got to kind of buy them online and hunt around for them a little bit. But they're really not that expensive. You're almost paying more in shipping than you are uh, for the laser discs. So you're better off trying to find a place. I found this place and I got a package here uh, where if you order $50, at least domestically, I don't know about internationally, but. If you order fifty dollars worth of stuff, you get a ten percent discount, and you don't have to pay shipping. So, um, their selection was okay. It wasn't like blowing me away, but enough that I could see placing a couple orders uh, for you know a dozen or so movies and keeping an eye on some that might pop up here and there. Uh, but those are the three that I got down at the Westport Half Price Books. Now, there's one more Half Price Books in this general area, and it's out in Olathe, Kansas. And uh, it's about 25 miles. I noticed the gas price went up again today. You got damn three dollars and fifty-two cents locally. I know we got it pretty cheap here in the Midwest, but you know, I mean, I noticed today. I was like, glad I got gas yesterday or Saturday. Um, let's do the pickups. <laughs> this might look like a lot. This is that same person that I 
I was getting uh, movies from out there at the flea mart, and um, there's about seven of them here. I didn't get them all on the same day. I bought a couple and then decided I'd go back and get a couple more. I kind of built this seven up over seven up <laughs> over um, a few weeks since we've got the, the laser disc. Um, but I've really about pilfered this guy down to little or nothing of stuff that I want that he's got left. Um, and the stuff that he does have that I kind of want, the covers are kind of torn up on it and stuff or something, or they look like the covers might have been water damaged slightly. So I just um, will pass on those. I'll just try to get them some, sometime else. You know, for $5, I bet I can order it for three or four. And, you know, the. There are some that are hard to get a hold of that are a little more expensive. I noticed that Tron, uh, the Walt Disney movie, is kind of expensive, um, if you can even find it. Uh, same thing with uh, The Matrix. I guess they put it on Laserdisc from what I can tell, but it was one of the late, late comers, and it's kind of hard to get a copy of it. But um, there are some that I'm still looking for in a lot of 70s and 80s movies. Uh, but we picked these up. These were five bucks a piece, so I probably paid about thirty-five dollars for these. To me, it's worth it. I enjoyed shopping. I think I got my money's worth out of it, and so it's okay by me that I spent that. Um, you know, next to buying video game stuff, this has been relatively cheap lately, and uh, actually more exciting to me than actually trying to find video game stuff. Um, I have gone to vintage stock a couple different times. I've gone to the thrift stores, but I'm just not finding anything. So when I find something, I'll put it in a video, believe me. Um, okay, uh, let's get started here. Uh, I pick, think I picked three of these up one time and then four of them up this past weekend. Uh, I've seen most all of these. I didn't own a lot of these. Uh, this one I went and picked up. Uh, I have seen it. It's the movie Congo. Um, it's an okay movie from what I remember. Um, I know it's got Bruce Campbell in it in a cameo, so that was the main reason why I, I even bought it. It's because he's in it for like a minute or two minutes and then he gets killed, I think. So that's kind of why I bought Congo. But uh, it was five bucks. Uh, this one was brand new and sealed. Um, and I went and got it. I just slipped the seal down the side to open it to get the disc out, but I left the wrapping pretty much on it. And uh, this movie's pretty funny. Uh, it's not one that I would like run out and buy, but you know, since it was brand new and it was uh, a decent movie, I went ahead and got it. And that's uh, My Cousin Vinny uh, with Joe Pesci. Um, it's pretty good. Um, one of Ralph Macchio's few roles he does outside of The Karate Kid. Um, not a bad flick. It's it's okay. It's a you know comedy. Um, this one is a classic, uh, in my opinion, a classic from my age, <laughs> and uh, that would be the uh, movie, uh, the Stephen K based on Stephen King, uh, short story called uh, Stand by Me. Uh, you know this has River Phoenix in it before he uh, died, and uh, it's got Will Wheaton in it. Jerry O'Connell, you know, it's got a uh, Corey Feldman, you know, um, who's that one dude? Kiefer Sutherland's in it, and it's mainly about these four kids that hear that this kid got hit by a train and that his body's uh, laying on the side of the tracks, and they go to investigate and see if he's actually, you know, if his body's actually there or not. So. Uh, that one was kind of sandwiched in with them. I didn't see that one the first time I went through them. So I was kind of uh, glad to get that one. Um, this one I did have on DVD, but I went ahead and picked it up anyway. And that is the movie Jumanji. Uh, this one, I, I, it's kind of a kid's movie, but I don't know. I've always enjoyed watching it. Um, even, ever since I watched it when I was probably in my early 20s, uh, I think is when it came out. 95 yeah so I would have been 20 so yeah uh, it's about uh, you know this guy and <laughs> this chick 
that uh, start playing this game and uh, the game uh, comes to life and you have to finish the game in order to get everything to go back to normal and uh, Robin Williams is the kid, the guy and he ends up getting stuck in the game and for like 20 years or something and then they, they end up uh, getting him out of it and they gotta finish the game in order to get everything to go back the way it was so um, not bad um, and then this one is a classic uh, if you haven't seen it, I'd be surprised. It's another Stephen King-based uh, uh, movie, and that's called Shawshank Redemption uh, with Tim Robbins and uh, Morgan Freeman. Um, if you haven't seen Shawshank Redemption, I'm not going to try to tell you. Uh, it's about this guy, Andy Dufresne, who goes to jail because uh, he supposedly murders his wife and her uh, lover. Um and it goes from there so it sounds like a pretty lame premise but believe me it's a great movie so um, here's a little of what I'm talking about the cheese factor in the laser disc and uh, you gotta love a good Cheech and Chong flick this isn't one of the ones that I would normally jump at but since it was in the in the mix I decided to go ahead and pick it up it's a movie called Nice Dreams it's got the uh, nice TNA shots on the front uh, Cheech and Chong chilling in some uh, deck chairs out by the pool. Um, still smoking or up in smoke would probably be uh, my favorites. Uh, maybe Born in East L.A. as well, even though Tommy's not in that one. Uh, it's one that I really sticks out in my mind. Um, okay, finally, uh, I picked this up, and this is back... Uh, on HBO back in the 90s, they uh, did some uh, limited edition, uh, not limited edition, um, limited series uh, animations for the, the Spawn cartoon. And they showed it on cable because it was too uh, violent or, or, you know, language and whatever. So, um, anyway, I picked up the first season of the Spawn on Laserdisc, and this is actually three Laserdiscs. It has running commentary on all of the episodes from this season. Uh, it's got this cool fold out, and um, it's three discs, three of the sides of the disc. I don't know if the fourth side. Sometimes they put special material on the fourth side, sometimes it's just blank. So, believe that. <laughs> so, those seven I picked up. Uh, from that one guy at the flea market. Really, I'm telling you, he's maybe got about a dozen movies left. And it's like Eddie Murphy Raw, or Delirious, not Raw. Eddie Murphy Delirious, and um, a copy of Fifth Element, but the sleeve is really screwed up. And uh, I'm trying to think. The Rock with Sean Connery, but the sleeve is split. Um, uh, think a Dirty Harry movie where the sleeve is messed up. Um, Black Sheep, <laughs> you know, with uh, what's his face, Chris Farley, you know, a couple like that. I mean, I just don't, I don't know. I and mean, he might get a couple more dollars out of it. He has a suggestion box. They're saying that if you're looking for any movies, to put it in there, and he'll, he or she will get a hold of you. Well, I went ahead and dropped a note in there and just said, hey. Uh, if you have any more laser discs I'm uh, interested so uh, and I left my number you know just said you can text me at this number or call me I guess you know at this number and we'll uh, go from there but you know I haven't heard anything but I don't know how often people want to check those booze and things like that so okay um, the next thing these are some packages that came in the mail over the past uh, two weeks and then I have a couple to open um, the first one we'll start with here. Uh, this is one of the reasons why I initially, sorry, uh, when I got the DVD player and I was watching DVDs, not laser discs, I noticed um, some of the old movies back in the day, you know, the effects held up for the type of format they were on, but when you clean them up too much, you can see stuff that you shouldn't be able to see. And this movie especially, there was a couple of things in it that I saw that I, I was like, nah, that sucks, you know. But it's so clean, you, you, can't, you can't help it. And uh, so I went ahead and picked this up. 
I think the sleeve art and stuff's pretty awesome. I want to get the first one as well. Who am I kidding? I'll probably get all four if they put them all four on Laserdisc. But that's uh, Superman Part 2, uh, the original. Um, it, it's on three sides. It's on two discs. Uh, one of the sides of the discs is the CAV format, which I don't understand why one of the sides is CAV and the other ones are CLV. Uh, you know, they could have, it seems to me they could have made all four sides CAV and put it on the same two discs. So I don't know. Um, and that's just the format as far as the being able to step and zoom and, and frame by frame it and stuff. The CLV, it, it doesn't work. Uh, the same way as the CAB. The CAB is the higher quality. But um, on this one, uh, in the beginning, there's some terrorists over in France, and uh, they have a bomb on the um, Eiffel Tower, and Superman goes over there to, to do his thing. But there's a shot when he's flying into the tower where you can see it's obviously like a plastic Superman on a wire, and you can see the wire... Uh, clearly on the DVD clear as day um, but I'm happy to say on the laser disc you can't see it you can't see the wire um, you, he still looks a little plastic I mean he looks you know kind of frozen but you, at least you don't see that goddamn guide wire in the shot um, so I'm happy anyway these final two uh, came in the mail I ordered these special and these are CAV format. Um, I think I made a mistake when I ordered one of these ones in the packages, and I'm probably going to have to pony up if I want to get the good one. But uh, we're going to start off here. This, uh, this is when I pulled that plastic sleeve off of the broadcast news and decided to go ahead and put it on this one. But it's George A. Romero's Night of the Living Dead. This is a special edition. Um, CAV format, so it's you know the high quality. Um, it's on two discs, uh, four sides. There's a running commentary. There's some featurettes, and uh, there's uh, some other stuff. Um, let me see. Limited edition photos and trailers, uh, linear notes, uh, scenes from the Lost Romero film, the affair. You know, I don't know. But I do know there's there's two different uh, commentary tracks, and it's the uh, anniversary uh, collector's CAB edition. Um, I'll see if I can't see that on here. Um, well, it has it on the back here. It says CAB right there, but it, it's hard to see, so... And then the next one, I think I paid uh, 25 for this. I know it sounds kind of crazy, but there was only one of these at all the places I was looking. Uh, and I looked about a half dozen places, plus Amazon and eBay. Um, this is the only one I saw of this version. So I went ahead and paid $25 for it. I got the Dawn of the Dead Laserdisc CAV Special Collector's Edition, it says along the top. And uh, it's got the uh, artwork on the back. This one also has commentary, television spots, radio spots, alternate scenes, uh, posters, fan testimonials. This one's fat. Um, I think it's on six discs total. Or not six discs, six sides, three discs. So there's three discs to it, and that's what it looks like. And then it's got this chapter uh, chapter sheet inside, which I thought was cool. I didn't understand why they just didn't print, and this is just me thinking outside the box maybe, but why they didn't print the chapter list on the sleeve, you know, when they did them but I guess you know that would include having to print on the sleeve and it's just easier to 
print them on the back of the box or whatever. This one didn't actually have them. This is actually in a box, too. I may actually order some more. Uh, I wanted to check the quality in this other box because this is the one that I ordered from the, the disc vault, the place uh, that I thought, you know, gave you the $50 and the discount and stuff. Uh, oh, okay, this is this is not the one I thought it was going to be, but that's cool. Um, all right. Um, let me see. All right. Um, cool. This is what I thought it uh, It's one of the ones, but it wasn't what I was thinking it was, so I'm kind of surprised. Uh, I picked up, this is brand new. Uh, but the cellophane starting to come off. I'm going to take it off. Uh, they wanted $30 for this, but I picked up the original Rocky. Two, three, and four are also available, it says on the back. So, I definitely want to get two, but ah, three, ah, they're all good through four. I just, I just decided I'm spending them I don't know how much money buying these again when I already have them on DVD. But, you know, what are you going to do? It's just too cool to me. The original price on this, $29.98. I paid... What did I pay? Uh, it doesn't say what I paid. But you know what? I think I paid three or four dollars and it was like five dollars to ship it I think I mean it wasn't more than like three or four bucks um, this corners a little bit bent but it's not that bad uh, that tends to happen with these because the boxes are square and the uh, discs are round two hours and five minutes Best picture of 1976. There is another version, another uh, another uh, collector's edition of Rocky or something, but uh, this one's cool as well. This one, uh, the, actually, it says the side three, the final disc where they're in the fight and everything at the end, is CAV, but the other two are CLV, so. That's cool. I didn't think that was what I, we were going to be seeing. Uh, I got one more package with two coming, and then let's crack this bad boy open. Uh, this bad boy is nice and thick. That's why I'm curious uh, to see. They did put a fragile handle with care sticker on there, which is nice. And, uh, let's see here. All right. I'll take these glasses off for a minute. All right. If I recall correctly, I think I ordered four things, but they were over 50 bucks, so it uh, gave me the discount in the shipping. Uh, the first one, let's get these in the right. Oh, he's got these. This guy did a hell of a job packaging this stuff. I mean, I will definitely be ordering from this guy again. Like I said, the only thing was his, his selection was a little uh, lackluster, but... You know, that's just mainly because I'm guessing people buy in, you know, whoever buys in or whatever, or sells some trades, you know, that type of thing. Uh, the first one, um, you know, it's in good shape. It's the edges are all nice on it. It's got, you know, a little, your little bit of wear that you're going to have on most covers. Uh, but I picked up Heavy Metal, the movie on Laserdisc. Um, thought this was going, uh, going to be worth the money. Uh, here is the actual sleeve thing. This is what he was talking about that were back ordered. But um, 
they were the sleeves were only like seventy five cents or eighty cents a piece to add on to the cost of the uh, the movie, but you know they protect them you know a hell of a lot better. Now actually these sleeves. I saw them at Vintage Stock for their record albums. I don't know if they're the same like thickness, where they might be a little thinner, but they were 50 cents a piece. So I might be able to get the sleeves from Vintage Stock, but heavy metal. Um, let's see what I can do here. Okay, instead of uh, getting everything out, I'm just going to show you the cover. Um, the next one I picked up was Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Uh, this one is a CAB quality, and that's pretty cool. Uh, widescreen edition includes the Special Achievement Oscar. So, and it's two discs. Uh, everything looks to be in pretty good shape. Uh, the labels are a little bit worn on the laser disc. Well, no. Yeah, that one, that one looks a little bit worn, but the discs themselves look good. Next one, this is brand new uh, in the package. Adult action, it says. No, no it's not what you think it is. Uh, but I went ahead and picked this up. Uh, it is Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. I did not have uh, Mad Max on... Um, laser disc or DVD or anything. I don't think I even had him. I think I've got a VHS copy of Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. I'd like to get Road Warrior, but I didn't see it on this guy's uh, mix. But he's uh, it's still sealed. It's still in the package. It has gotten a little bent. You know, that's just like I said. It's hard with these when the thing's circular and the thing's square. You know, the box is square. Them not to get bent, but. I ordered an extra sleeve, but since it was sealed, um, it already has one, so I got two, so that's cool. And uh, I'm going to put that, I think one of the movies I found uh, found out in the wild uh, was missing a sleeve, so that'll be good. Um, this is the final one that I was, I think I ordered the wrong one, and this is why I was saying that I'll probably have to uh, bite the bullet. Because this one was only $15, but it is brand new and sealed. And that is uh, an old favorite of mine. I can't pass them up. Evil Dead. <laughs> Evil Dead on a laser disc. But this is not the collector's edition, which is why I went wrong. The CAB collector's edition uh, DVD, this guy does have them or has at least one that's still factory sealed, but he wants 50, 59, I don't know, around 60 bucks for it. Um, I don't know, I'm kind of trying to hold out and see if I can't find it uh, somewhere else before I bite the bullet, but a lot of times when I've let stuff like that go, like the Dawn of the Dead thing, um, I would have, I would have lost out, you know, and then who knows when you're going to find it again, so... Um, this one also I got another extra sleeve and, and container with, but uh, let me see. Yeah, this one doesn't really have any special features or anything, so I'll probably end up buying the other copy as well. But I don't know. It's Evil Dead, so what are you going to do? Um, that's it, folks. That's my big laser disc bonanza. Um, that was what five six that came today and then I already had seven so it was 13 and then I had three from that other store so that was 16 so we looked at 16 laser discs anyway folks uh, thanks for coming by any and all new subs uh, I don't think you're here <laughs> uh, I don't think anybody subbed me in a long time that didn't already here so um, let's just uh, keep rolling keep doing the bids if I find video game stuff, I will get it, and I've got a bunch of video games uh, that I'm going to do. Anyway, I'm done. <laughs> Am I? I think so. So, uh, catch you next video. Thanks for watching.